Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today will be something slightly different to what we've been doing in previous weeks. It's actually the first video I'm doing that isn't part of the 100 beer challenge. I will be doing a short review on the Thirsty Ferret. I felt like a Thirsty Ferret earlier, so I fancied an ale, and I happened to have this in the fridge. So Thirsty Ferret, made by Badger Beers, which is part of the Dorset Breweries, and the Dorset Breweries have been established since 1777. I'm not going to work out the maths, but I know that's a fairly long time. So yeah, before we continue, I would like to point out that um, I'm not a massive ale drinker, and that's not because uh, I don't like it, it's because I don't know much about it. So uh, this YouTube channel is going to be a bit of a learning curve for me. Um, so when I review it, it'll just be my own opinions, uh, my own tastes, on whether I like it or not. So, the Thirsty Ferret. It's a malty amber ale made with dark crystal malt. It has a biscuity taste with subtle hints of a floral and a lemon hop aroma. For those that are wondering why I did that when I said floral, is because a lot of my mates take the mick out of me because apparently I like the word floral and I said it a lot in one of my videos. So I hope you enjoyed that, lads. All right then, guys, I've managed to pour it into the glass and I've formed a decent head on this. It's probably a lot easier now. It's an ale in the glass, really. It's a lovely amber, brownish colour. The scents I'm getting off it are biscuity. They are floral. And, well, the overwhelming aroma I find, in my personal opinion, is, um, is lemon. We'll drink it, shall we? You know, I'm not going to down it this week. Oh, that's lovely. That is absolutely lovely. It's almost sweet. It's like a sweet... Ooh, you nearly dropped the bloody thing then. It's a bloody... Uh... Really sorry I had to cut that bloody clip out. Honestly, I've managed to spill it all over my desk. All the way down my carpet as well. But it's all cleared up now and we'll continue with it. So yeah, I was saying how sweet and lovely it was. Smooth. As I say, you can have about five, six, or even seven of them. Sat at a bar, reading a newspaper, by the fire. That is bloody lovely. I'll give it a rating. Um, it is the first ale I've ever done on the channel. So this is only relative to how I like it, and I can't compare it to others. Uh, I'm going to say... It's a solid eight and a half. I really enjoyed that ale. Really did. But thank you for watching, guys. Anyway, I better clear the rest of this mess. Um, if you want to stay tuned next week, I should have a, another episode of the 100 Beer Challenge ready for you. And I look forward to filming that. And uh, I should get a few more of these ale videos out as well. So cheers, guys. And thank you for watching. See you.